You'd love to do some leash walking training, but it's impossible because your dog is constantly pulling on the leash. In this video, Instructor Carol's gonna give you some simple strategies to stop your dog from pulling, including one thing you can do to stop pulling before you even open your door. I'm Ken Steep, this is Instructor Carol. Welcome back to McCann Dogs. This episode is brought to you by Yukonuba. Taking a dog for a walk is one of the things I most enjoy uh, with my canine partners, but not when I'm being pulled. And dogs need exercise, and walking is a fantastic way to do that. Hi, I'm Instructor Carol, this is Freya. And it's like a, a meeting for help, Freya has a problem. Freya's a puller. At McCann Dogs, we talk about taking your dog for a walk and teaching your dog how to walk are two different things. And it all starts before we take the first step. We're gonna head inside and look how it's done. Now, Fran's pretty excited to go out, and that's pretty common. Does your dog just wanna explode out that door? Because going outside is fun. So if I open that door, you can see she's ready to blast. So I'm going to hold that leash so that she can't actually get out until she looks at me. And why do I care about that? She is so focused on the outside, nothing else exists about getting through that door. If I just hold her here, it's like a magic force field. At some point, she's gonna stare out there and then she's gonna go, what the heck? And she's gonna look at me. And when she looks at me, I'm gonna immediately say, okay. So it's doing a couple of things. One, in order for her to look at me, she needs to control herself, which means she's not as wild. And two, she's learning there's some rules to going through that door. Ready, girly? What's out in the big? I'm gonna hold her. Just gonna stand and wait till she decides. Good girl, all right, good girl. So last time I said, okay, and she got to go out just for looking at me. So that's great, she's a little calmer when she does that and she's starting to learn, don't just blast out, you need to look. And that will happen really, really fast. I'm gonna do it again, but she also needs to learn after the look when I say all right, it doesn't mean dive bomb out and drag me out. So if that happens, all it means is I'm gonna come back in. She didn't earn her, her win. She didn't get to win the game and go out, go directly to jail, back inside, do not pass go, do not collect $200, we just try it again. Just have to wait it out. They all look at some point. All right. She says, oh, that didn't get me outside. The dogs are smart at figuring out what they, how to get what they want. So now I'm just gonna open that door again. All right. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. It's a good try. So I'm not getting mad, I'm not getting angry. I'm just gonna let her figure out how to earn that. And you can see she looked at me a little quicker that time too. Shall we try it again? Oh, yes, all right. Oh, a little bit of pulling, a little bit of pulling. Let's try that again. That was much better, much better. We're going to try that again. Notice how fast she looked at me. She didn't even try to get out. She stopped and she looked at me very quickly and she went out much calmer that time. You can see she's still excited about going out. Last time she didn't blast out. Even on the all right, she was a little better. This time I'm actually going to reward that choice. If she gives it to me again, when I open the door, hey, girly, when she opens the door, I'm actually gonna, I got a treat hidden here. And if she does that same pause and look, yes, get that girly. And I'm gonna throw back inside the house. So letting her know that was a fantastic choice. It's also a safety issue. I don't want my dog thinking the door's open, they should just blast out. What a good girl. All right, yes, and now she's not blasting through. All right, yes. Fail, yes. Good girl, so good girl. Now I'm gonna earn her some freedom. Okay, you check that out. Now, 
You can see the difference. When I took that little bit of time, I got her to understand don't blast out of the door, which is also a safety issue. I don't want my dog flying out. She learned not to go out on that tight leash. Now, see how much calmer she is. Then when I opened that door, she exploded out and dragged me across the yard. I can't deal with that, but I can deal with this. So now I'm set up for better success on walking, but you know what? I'm not gonna go straight into walking. I'm gonna do a couple of responses to name. I'm gonna sneak out a treat. I'm going to Freya, show her that treat. Yes, good girl. And then I'm gonna give her some freedom again. Okay, you can go sniff. You can go sniff. Good girl, good work. Again, she's not nearly as wild. I could also do that response to name and I don't need to use treats. Freya, yes, oh, good girl. What a good girl, yes. Oh, you're so brilliant. Okay, you can go check out, you can go check out. So instead of fighting her for that attention, you can see um, like the first time, now she's way more attentive. Huh, girly, what do you see over there? There's a person. So she's a lot more attentive. She's not even pulling when she sees a person go past. That is so nice. Why do I work that response to name? Well, eventually I'd like to have my dog off leash. So having a perfect response to name is huge. The other thing is I just built some relationship. I might grab another treat for this one because there's a tough distraction. And I'm gonna say it first, Freya, show her that treat. Yes, good girl. So she's just listened to her name three times. Perfectly, first one said the name once, she responded. Can you say that about your young dog? So we're building a pattern. Every time I hear my name, despite there's someone walking past or there's a bird over there, I respond. And look at the attention she's giving me. So much different from that first part where I let her explode out. Now that I've got that attention, now I can actually work some walking. Are you ready, girly? Even with distraction, could we? Yes, let's go. Good girl, yes. Oh, good girly, what a girl. You're brilliant, yes. Woo, oh, and I'm just gonna guide her back, yes. Thank you, Freya, yes. And good girl, let's go. Let's go, yes. And I could even reward that, good girl. So, I just did 10 steps. Still not a lot of exercise. So, maybe now it's chance to give her a little more exercise, but she's practicing walking on a loose leash. But now, instead of response to name, what if I produced a toy, Freya? Yes, do you want that thing? Oh, good stuff. Oh, you want that? You want that? You ready? Go get that. Yes, good girly. Oh, get that one. Oh, yes, good girly. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Ready, set. And I'm gonna run with her so that leash doesn't go tight. Freya, get it. Get it. Yes, good girly. Woohoo. Freya, yes. Ready, get that thing. Get that thing, we'll get it moving, get it more exciting. Yes, yes, good stuff, yes. Oh, good girly, oh, yes, good work. And oh, good girl. So look at the attention I've got on my dog now. Again, maybe we do a little walking. Ready, get in here, let's go, let's go, yes. Oh, good girl, and I can reward her, yes. Ready, let's go, I'm just gonna touch her, woohoo. Yes, ready? Oh, good girl. Yes, look at that attention. So she's out here, um, there's lots going on, there's animals, there's people, and she's still saying, I can walk on a loose leash instead of pulling me all over the place. So much better than the first time we came out. She's able to keep that, that leash pretty loose, but still really distracted, not able to focus on me. So I know when there's tough distractions, car going by, um, if we're walking, I'm probably still gonna see that tight leash. And what are you gonna do if your dog still, even though you've done that opening, still pulling? So I'm gonna show you now. I tried to use my voice, it wasn't enough. So I'm gonna show you how I use the leash. I'm not punishing her at all. I wanna teach my dog, it's fun to walk at my side, but I can give my dog some great information. I want the leash, if you picture an arrow from her clip of her collar, right to where I want her walking, if I add tension that way, it's gonna give her information and dogs want information. So let's see how it works. Are you ready? Let's go. So if she goes that way, I'm just gonna add tension. Yes, good girl, that's better. Yes, ready? Yes, oh yeah, yes, let's go. Yes, good girly. Get up here, yeah, what a good girl. Ready, ready, ready? Yes, let's go. Oops, let's go. Yes, 
Yes, good girl. Very good. So you can see she didn't mind those pulses at all, but that tension back to me. And even if my dog's pulling me, I'm going to stop. I'm going to have that tension. I'm just going to use my hips to turn my dog, keep that tension towards me in the way I need my dog to move. I can turn and go the other way if she's getting distracted. Yes. See that head come up. Yes. I'm going to turn tension up to where I need it. Yes. Good girl, and I could even now, yes, and reward her. I could reward her with a toy and some play. I could reward her with an okay, go sniff, go check it out, um, let her be a dog for a little bit. I could reward her by playing with her. Um, a number of things I can do. So she's getting some exercise. Look at the attention I'm getting versus that wild and crazy dog that we started with. So what's walking training look like? I'm still 10 feet from the door. I have not gone very far. So we need to break it down, get success. Now she's had, um, she's gonna be tired tonight. Um, one, she doesn't know me, so working with me is a little different, but that ability to stop at the door and look at me instead of bursting out, that ability to walk outside on a loose leash calmly, that impulse control that she applied to herself actually is gonna tire her out hugely. But I also wanna get her some physical exercise. She wasn't super keen about the retrieving. So now I'm gonna look for another option so that I can also get her some physical exercise. Time for some recall training. Now, who's saying, what the heck? I tuned in because I wanna learn how to walk my dog on a loose leash. Why is she doing recalls? Well. One, I want my dog or Freya to get some exercise. Two, my dog's now gonna be rehearsing, totally ignoring everything but me when we're outside, meaning loose leash walking is way, way easier. I always like to pattern perfect responses. So we're gonna make sure Freya does a perfect response to come. I've got a handful of treats. I'm gonna hold her back, show her the treats, freeze and say, come, woohoo! And she gets a little run, not a long one, but she is so successful. I'm gonna pay off those treats. Oh, I dropped one. What a bad handler I am, girly. Yes, get her attention again, yes. Good, and then I can quickly do another one. Ready, come, woohoo, yes, good. And maybe this time I'm even gonna run a little bit. Maybe this time I'll even run. Good stuff, I'm gonna, ready, Set, come, woohoo! Yes, good girly, good girl, excellent. And you know what? I'm 15 feet from the door. We made it and we still have attention. Yes, we do. Ready? Get in here, yes. Good girl, let's go. Look at that walking happening, yes. Good girl, is that the same dog that came through that door the first time? Freya is not my dog, but you can see we've already built a pretty good relationship, I think, Freya. I think so, in a short time. So those little games, those attention games, build so much value and attention on us. I also have a dog that's a little tired and uh, uh, much calmer. So I'm mixing that up with my training. Now, I'm still not ready to take Freya for a mile walk. My arm just wouldn't handle it, Freya. And there's still time she's going to really pull when she sees a squirrel or maybe, you know, another dog. But think how fast I got her to come out the door calmly. That didn't take very long. And I got some pretty good attention and a few steps of walking in. So think about how fast it'll be. How many days will it be each day? I'm going to work a little farther from the door. I'm going to work a few more steps at a time between my little games. And pretty soon, you know what? we'd be able to go for a mile walk, Freya. So Freya and I didn't get out for our mile walk, but we got out on this gorgeous day, enjoying it outside. Freya got some exercise, so she's gonna be tired tonight. And getting out and doing more with your dog is what our sponsor of today's video really believe in. Sponsor today is Yukonuba. Each Yukonuba formula features Active Advantage, an exclusive protein and nutrient power design that fuels your dog's body, mind, and energy. We create videos here on YouTube to help you get out and do more with your four-legged family member. And Yukonuva believes that with dogs, an active life is a healthy life. We couldn't agree more. Check out the link in the description below to find out which Yukonuba formula is right for your dog. Today I was working just the very beginnings of teaching a dog to walk on a loose leash. Just the foundation work. If you want to see more on walking a dog on a loose leash in a busier environment, click on this card right here. If you're looking for more training on loose leash walking specific to you, your dog, your environment, your lifestyle, 
feel free to click on the link below to find out more about our online life skills program, which is supported by McCann Instructors. On that note, I'm Carol, this is Freya. Happy training.